Hey guys, so this guy has been in the news and right before Mother's Day of all things, right? Mother's Day was uh, this Sunday, or last Sunday. He is a Magic the Gathering and Warhammer artist and he wants to track, let me just read you, let me just read you his own text um, and kind of see where it, it goes. Paul, a big bat, big bat, this is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mutters and string them up. Uh, when I read this, I was like, wow, what is what could possibly be the context for this tweet? Now, of course, the tweet has been deleted, but it's been viewed 10,000 times and over 10,000 times. And you might imagine, as you would on Twitter, Somebody screenshotted the, the the tweet because it's absolutely ridiculous. And rep again, string them up refers to a very bad part of the American history. Obviously, Paul, um, even though he did apologize and delete it and make his Twitter private, um, he probably really wishes he could have used any other word than string them up. Uh, especially for the demographic that he is trying to signal to, right? Uh, this is very, very bad, Paul, and you know why it's bad. I don't need to explain it to you, And but in context, out of context, the fact that this is even on your mind, right? This is something that you would use in a, a, a tweet language. This is something just stream of consciousness, right, is uh, very bad, Paul, and I would probably seek um, some help. So... I think uh, it is uh, a lot of interesting stuff. And when somebody asked uh, if it was fair game to go after his mom and his partner, all right, let me find your mother and partner and harass them. Fair game, gotcha. I love to learn from the good guys. Paul said, I mean, if I turn into a total piece of shit and start harassing women online, then go nuts. So he's giving us the... He's giving me the thumbs up, right, to go nuts on him because obviously he has turned into a total piece of shit and has started harassing women right before Mother's Day of all things. He wants to string up moms. Uh, woof. I, I don't know, man. I do not know. Uh, and then he has mentioned, fascinating. Is that a company stance stringing up moms and significant others? Paul responds, I think you may have misunderstood. The conversation was about holding people accountable for their attacks on the internet. Wow, Paul. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's so weird. Like, it's so mother effing weird, right? Come on, I just don't understand where the logic is. You're promoting hate to go against hate. But in doing so, you're also promoting hate. So, like, you can't be, like... I don't get it. I mean, you're fighting fire with fire and then everything burns down and you're like, oh, well, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, it was your fault, man. And I, and then they don't get it. This conversation is about holding people accountable for their attacks on the internet. I don't think it's a super controversial take. Dude, it is. It is. And you're going to find out just how controversial this take is, my dude. You're going to find this out because at the end of the day, oh, here, now he's complaining. Sending a hate mob after me seems a little unkind considering I was just agreeing that people who attack others on the internet should be held accountable. I admit I phrased it poorly, but also it wasn't a statement. It was a reply to a tweet. You want someone held accountable, you say that. You said go after their loved ones. Have some of your medicine along with so-called accountability you want people to have. Again, I was just replying to a tweet. I understand how I it was misread. I was taking I was taking accountability right there. My god, this is I mean, the thing has gone viral like hell and I I really do not know, right? Um, why this guy would ever say something like this. Now, I'm on his 
YouTube account and he's defending himself. Um, yeah, and it's not good. Dude, okay, so this is a comment. And he has control over his YouTube comments. So I'm sure he's deleted other ones. Dude needs to go to jail. Can't have insane lunatics putting out bounties in public. What the F? Cry me a river. This man has no good intentions. Even if he had no intention of causing harm to significant others and mothers, he still wants them to be tracked down. That is still unhinged. That's why I said it isn't much better, but it does make quite a difference. I don't think you'll disagree with me on this. I like how you read it. Literally zero people on earth you string them up to mean hold them accountable. It means lynching. Own what you are. This I didn't literally like. Yeah, so the problem I have is it's very simple. It's like who uses this term? I think people got it. I mean, who would use the term string them up? Like, like in what context has ever, anyone ever used that term in? I think it's only been really used in one context, right? Again, let's read his comment. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all of these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mutters and string them up. So string them up, right? Like, so we're going to track down these weird creeps. And we're going to string up, we're going to track their significant others. So he does want to track their significant others and mothers, right? Because the context of what Alyssa is saying is Alyssa was able to track down a hater's wife. And then make communication with her, right? So in this point, he, he does, in the context, he does want to track down your wife, significant other, or your mother. And then he wants to make contact with them. And that's why a lot of people think we string, string them up because it's one sentence. Let's just read the one sentence. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. All right, that sentence doesn't need really much context um, because the verbiage string them up is just so out of whack, man. It's, um, it is, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe AI taking his job is probably the best case scenario because I don't think AI would use the term string them up. Not, honest God, I don't think AI. So maybe the AI, we can save a little bit of money. Magic the Gathering can save a little bit of money, a little controversy. We got Noah Bradley, right? I mean, in the past, in the past artists have been very controversial. Even Teresa Nielsen, right? All of them. Bercelli, right? Didn't like her stance. Like, uh, we, we had another dude, like, recently. He's, like, in Canada or something. Uh, Seb. Seb. There, there's been many, many Magic the Gathering artists who have found themselves in quite a bit of hot water given what they've said. Rightfully or wrongfully so, right? On both sides. Anyway, let me know what you think about this guy. I think uh, maybe AI will replace him, I hope. 